So I just finished a week of doing Mary's Mini with Mom. If you want to know more about that, look at the link above. But anyway, I ended up eating potatoes, mostly potatoes, 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 and more potatoes. And so I want to tell you what happened. I started eating mostly potatoes on Wednesday, March 4th, and I finished on Tuesday, March 10th, a total of seven days. So I want to tell you how much I weighed afterwards and then what I ate the next day. On the very last day of Mary's Mini, I woke up for breakfast and I ate mashed potatoes that I'd cooked the night before with a little bit of mushrooms, and that was pretty typical for breakfast through the week. Alongside that, I ate my usual steamed radicchio and kale, and also a sheet of nori. I spent most of that day out in the greenhouse planting seeds, so I didn't get back to the house to eat lunch for a long time. So what I did was I ate what little potatoes were left from that morning that I hadn't eaten, plus three baby pickles. That was lunch. For dinner, I made a bunch of french fries. I only ended up eating one pound three ounces of those. So then I decided to put these numbers into chronometer or chronometer, how you pronounce it, which is a website where you can put in how much you ate for the day, it pops out how many calories, and also how you're meeting your nutrient requirements. So I looked at day one of my potato diet and the very last day of my potato diet. I got out that I had eaten 1720 calories. I've got myself in is moderately active needing 1800 calories. Sometimes I just sit around on my butt and sometimes I dig a bunch of seaweed up and throw it in the truck and take it home. And so I don't know, it probably evens out to moderately active. So, uh, I got all my numbers in here and you can see with my omega threes, I was low on omega sixes, got all of my protein numbers. Low on selenium, I could have just eaten a Brazil nut, that would have done it. A little bit low on vitamin E. Choline, the body most makes a lot of it, so whatever. Um, B12, coming from the nori, because I actually, it says zero for the nutritional use, because I, I use unfortified stuff. So anyway, that's kind of where that was at, with that. And then you gotta look when you're using chrono chronometer, chronometer. Be careful, like so when you add a food, if you put in potato, and say you just put in this one russet, and say you have ounces, let's say you eat a lot of potatoes. Well, that's not a lot, a lot, that's been like a meal or something. Um, five hundred calories. And it'll show that you didn't get any protein. So you have to select an item where they've got that nutritional information. They've got all of the nutritional information in it. So potato. Um, I think this is one I used baked flesh and skin without salt. And so let's do 24 ounces. And so then you're getting some of your um, protein numbers. So yeah, something to think about what you're, when you're using this because it can really mess you up. So then on my last day, on Tuesday, I was out putting seeds in the greenhouse and I was so busy I didn't want to stop. And so by the time I, I got in, I made some french fries or whatever, but I ended up not eating very much that day as far as calories. and. So that was negative almost 500 calorie deficit there. But then of course I'm, I'm not meeting all of my targets. A few of the proteins are a little bit low. Omega-6 again is low. Selenium, I didn't eat a Brazil nut. Vitamin E is still low. And B12, I'm getting, I'm getting half of that. We can talk about B12 later. I had weighed myself the morning that I started the potato diet. And then I weighed myself again the morning after I had finished the whole week of a potato diet. So I had lost a little over a pound, but I don't think these scales are that accurate. So let's just say I lost a pound. And then the very last night of the potato diet, I started oatmeal, which is what I would normally eat in the morning. Okay, so this is how easy this is, right? 
one third cup of oat groats. Okay. And then two cups of water. So it's more like a congee than oatmeal. Uh, I did the put the data in for the day that I was off the potatoes and eating somewhat normally. And so I've got oatmeal for breakfast. Okay, it's morning. One cup of blueberries, frozen blueberries. Half teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir. The perfect temperature for eating right now. Warm, low, high. I keep it on low. Almost eight ounces of kale bits. 4.5 ounces of broccoli bits. I've got potatoes, french fries for lunch, and then I have kind of a lentil stew. You know, it's got potatoes in it. Right after breakfast, I make lentil stew, so it'll be ready for dinner, and I make two days worth. One half cup of lentils. Potatoes that I just chopped up. I'm gonna do one cups because it's three to one beans to water water to beans put it on high it actually boils you don't want to put your stuff your beans on a low if it doesn't boil then they're not going to cook well and they will make you sick okay to the lentil stew i add celery and have some sauerkraut and then i have kale and radicchio and then i actually have a snack of apples and a kiwi, which I'm not sure if I put that in. So anyway, and you can see here, I'm getting my omega-3s and 6s, the oatmeal. You can see the oatmeal is, is adding quite a bit of omega-6s, so that's about right. Getting all the protein, amino acids. I ate a Brazil nut, so I got my selenium. Iodine is just a little bit low, and vitamin E is a little bit farther up there. The, highest I'm getting for vitamin E is kale is giving me a lot and so is the radicchio. So, um, and same thing with something with the nori. This nori lists one sheet as having 60% of the B12 that you would need for a day. And so two sheets would give you over 100% of your needs. But then the question is, is this B12 bioavailable? And I actually wrote the company and got a message back from them, but I don't think we should go into B12 today. Maybe that's something for a future video. One of the really interesting things that I found while doing the potato diet was I had been making a mistake when calculating how much omega-3s and omega-6s I needed each day. Becoming vegan, uh, even if you're not vegan, is actually a really good nutrition book. It's not too dumbed down and you know but then it's not too overly scientific either if you can't understand it so what they say here for omega-3 omega-6 fatty acids they're talking about the omega-3s in this section they say on a 2000 calorie diet you need at least 2.2 to 4.4 grams of the omega-3s and so i don't know why i went with 4.4 grams and and so then they show here Okay, so here they say optimal omega-6 to omega-3 ratio is 2 to 1 or 4 to 1. So I was going to go ahead and go with 2 to 1. So I just doubled that omega-3 value. So I changed that and I did use 2.2 and it makes it so I can easily get my fats without even having to eat like, you know, flax seed or, you know, anything else. I can just get it from, you know, the the greens and everything else. So I'll show you where you can look at your omegas and you can make things, let's go to settings, you can make things custom. Come on settings. And you want to go to targets, I think it is. Yeah, and then you have, all, you can do vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, and I'm doing lipids here, this is fats. And so for omega-3s, I've set it at 2.2. And then I want a 2 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, so I just double omega-6. And so when you go to your diary here, the main page, down here under lipids, it'll say, okay, you need, you know, 2.2 2 .2 is what you would have. And so you're getting a little over that 2.2 grams of omega-3. And you would want 4.4 
grams of omega-6, you're not quite getting that. So that's how you kind of set something custom like that and how I set up my lipids. I'm gonna stick to that last meal plan that I showed you. That's kind of what I used to eat mostly every day, minus all of the fat that I thought I had to jam into my, my food. And yeah, so I'm gonna try and get myself off the almond flavored cocaine addiction problem that I had and build strong bones and teeth and maybe lose a little bit of weight.